welcome back to the podcast. My name is DeAndre Nicolette. If you're new here, my love, welcome. I'm so excited to have you tuned in for your first ever Manifest Daily episode. And of course, if you're an OG listener, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, what's poppin', what's good? Welcome back to another episode of your fave Manifest Daily. My loves, we're switching up the environment today. If you guys are listening on the podcast, audio only, without the visuals, hop over to the YouTube real quick, okay? Hop over there just so you can see what's going on. If you guys didn't see, on Sunday, I posted my dining room makeover. So y'all remember in my house, I had like this space that was originally supposed to be a dining room area, but I was like, I'm gonna turn this into a filming area. Never filmed in there, literally a mess. Anyway, so it had a couch, it had the TV stand from my last apartment, all these different things in it, and I ended up moving things around, shuffling the situation around, and now this is the new dining area. So I have a dining room makeover video on my YouTube channel, but today, I kind of wanted to switch it up and film in here. I am not sure how it's gonna turn out. One, because we're in like this really open space. So the dining room is here, my kitchen is over there, my living room is over there. And in this space, I feel like the sound kind of bounces a little bit more and is not as, I don't know, it's not as like surrounded. Is that the word? Like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but like basically in the office, it's a carpeted room. So carpeted rooms are better for podcasting, better for the audio. So I don't know what this vibe vibe is gonna give you know what I'm saying we're gonna have our fingers crossed you're gonna try to keep the episode short and sweet baby so hopefully the audio is good my loves um I'm filming this kind of impromptu so originally also what is that beeping outside I I, I feel like every single time I come to record they be like oh we about to pull up with the trash thing we about to pull up with the lawnmower we about to pull it's like can y'all can we pause for a second it's Monday it's giving it's giving let me take a beat let, let me take a, let me take an inhale. Let me take a breath. Let me relax. Okay. Like it's a lot of commotion right now. Okay. So I have the day off of my nine to five. So that's why I'm here recording, filming this episode right now. Anyways, so back to my story. So this is kind of like an impromptu episode. Originally, I planned for this episode to be a guest episode. So I have a couple guest episodes in the vault that I wanna release to you guys that are so good. There's one on Akashic Records. There's one where I actually reached out to this TikToker who's like blowing up, who met her person on Hinge and got married within six months. It's an insane story. And I think it's a very expansive story, especially if you're single and using dating apps right now. So I have that in the vault and a couple other ones. So those are coming soon. However, I'm sitting in the bathroom and I was literally getting ready for my day and I was like you know what I think I want to talk about my experience on Friday and you're probably like girl what actually the title probably says it so you probably aren't surprised <laughs> about what I'm going to talk about but I want to talk about my first time trying shrooms I don't know if this is going to be like banned on YouTube I hope not so I'm going to try to say shrooms a little bit less in this episode ju just in case if you're listening on the podcast like i i think i'm good but yeah so i want to talk about this and i also want to preface this by saying that if this makes you uncomfortable obviously tune out like don't listen to this episode i totally understand so obviously this is a more sensitive topic if you will especially if you're someone that is like i never want to try shrooms i never want to do something like that totally understand but i felt like i wanted to share this experience on the podcast because I personally found it a very expansive experience. I've heard of a lot of different like spiritual people going to different retreats where they're trying ayahuasca or trying these different things to basically get them in this state where they are able to meet their guides or they're able to have these really profound spiritual moments. And this was one for me. So I've never really had a super strong desire to try shrooms, but I was always open to it. I just have never found sort of the opportunity. And within the last couple of weeks, the opportunity has presented itself to me and I was like okay this is coming up I'm really curious I really want to try this like let's go so I ended up doing it with a really close friend and we were at my house and if you've never done shrooms before basically like it's these dried up mushrooms so the way that we ended up taking them or at least the way that I ended up taking them was that I blended up the shrooms like the dried mushrooms with some lemonade and I basically drank it it was kind of disgusting not necessarily because of the taste of the mushrooms I actually did not taste the mushrooms at all in fact I only tasted the straw strawberry lemonade that I was drinking. But for me, I have this thing with like texture. So like, say I'm drinking something that's a liquid, right? If there's any sort of like textured pieces in there, like it literally makes me gag. Like I kid you not, I was gagging and I like, my body was like 
physically wanting to throw up. And again, not because the mushrooms themselves tasted any kind of way, but because I literally had this texture in my mouth as I was drinking. Because even though I blended them up really well, there were a couple chunky pieces in there. So we took the shrooms, we waited, we sat down on the couch, we were watching YouTube, watching random videos, and then it started to kick in. Now I will say this entire trip that I had, it wasn't necessarily that I was seeing things in front of me. Like the walls were intact, the things in my house were intact, things weren't melting and moving and bobbing around. So I didn't necessarily feel that effect of it but what happened to me personally was that when i closed my eyes and i had this very very strong urge to close my eyes and lay down so i laid down on the couch and i closed my eyes i started to basically see things i have three main things that came through for me that i really wanted to share about this experience because especially if you have never tried shrooms you can like maybe see what you could expect in your trip again i'm sure everyone experiences different things but this is personally what i went through the first main thing that happened was that I connected with my person. I remember when it happened, I was having this moment of like being in the experience, like I would say 70%, but the other 30% of me was sort of thinking, is this really happening or am I just projecting? And one of the things I think that happens when you take something like shrooms and when you're in this moment, it's sort of like meditation where you have to allow yourself to sink into that moment, to sink into whatever it is that you're experiencing and not let your ego and not let your mind try to pull you out of it by questioning what you are experiencing because what you are experiencing is real to you. So when I allowed myself to quiet that ego and quiet that mind and quiet that voice that was questioning, is this real? or are you projecting, I was able to fully immerse myself in that experience. And it was so powerful because I could literally feel, and the best word that I have to describe it was heartbreak. I saw like flashes of our past lives together. And I remember hearing and feeling rather the words of like, I miss you, just, I miss you. And it felt as if this person, like I could feel him experiencing his life and experiencing his reality and missing me as that person that he wanted to connect with in this life. And so that's why I say it felt like heartbreak because it just felt like he was so, he was at this point where he felt so defeated because he knew that we're meeting in this life and he knows rather that we're meeting in this life. But since it hasn't happened yet, he just feels this heartbreak, this longing, this missing. When I was going through this experience of like trying to figure out, is this real or am I projecting? I noticed that when I sat with the actual feelings that were coming through, they didn't feel like my feelings. Like whenever I want to be with my person, whenever I'm feeling that loneliness, that longing, that missing, it feels a certain way to me. And this feeling was similar, but different. It was similar, but it wasn't mine. And I could sort of observe it and feel it and hold it and experience it, but also know that these weren't my feelings, that these were the feelings of my person out there missing, longing for me, just going through a part of life where we're so close, we're so, so close to meeting, but because we're not there yet, he's really experiencing that heartbreak and that hurt and that longing. And I literally just remember sobbing because all that could come from that, like I was just crying and I was crying because I was feeling his emotions and it was so powerful. But on the other hand of that, on the other hand of the heartbreak and the longing and the missing, there was this immense feeling of love. Like I remember being so overpowered by it that at one point, and I wasn't having a medical emergency, but at one point it felt like I couldn't breathe because it felt like, y'all know when you were just so in love? Like, I cannot explain it. If you've been in love, okay, and I feel like most of y'all have, if you have been in love, you know that feeling. It's like, it's it just overtakes you. Like, it's indescribable. It's powerful. It's such a, like, you feel so at peace, so at ease, but also you're in this like capsule of just beautiful, loving energy and you're so grateful to even have that experience. Like I literally felt that. I felt that love for me coming from him alongside that longing. And it was so 
powerful. It was such a powerful experience to have that and to feel his energy. And literally I was there sobbing for a good few minutes because the, and the tears just would not stop flowing because I could feel everything he was feeling. So the next thing that happened was that I ended up seeing one of my guides. And this was the main guide that came through when I saw the medium. She talked about how one of my guides was a little bit more just kind of like loud and out there and sort of like, she was the biggest cheerleader amongst my guides for me. Like she was the one who's very much like, you can have it all, you can do it all. Like you were here to live and laugh and love. Okay, live, laugh, love, home goods edition. <laughs> like you were just here to have fun, girl. So she came through and I saw her. And when I tell you when she came through the energy, <laughs> Oh baby, don't mess with her. Okay, when I tell you, I be telling people I'm protected, don't play with me. Don't play with me, cause my guys, they don't play either. And when I tell you she came through with that energy, she was not playing no games. Like it was just this energy of like boss, like no games, like she finna pull up and she is just about her business. Like it was just such powerful, beautiful energy. Like it was giving very much sitting in her divine feminine very much knows what she wants, knows what, knows that I know what I want. Like she just, oh my God, like the energy was so, like y'all know when you are in the presence of someone and you are just enamored, like you are speechless. Like someone walks into the room with this confidence, this energy, this like, baby, I'm not finna play no games in here. And you're looking at them like, yo, like who is that? You can't take your eyes off them. That was her. That was her. And when I tell you, she she has some messages for me, okay? She has some messages for your girl. And these experiences that I was having while on this trip, they weren't new to me. They were just like, they were just experiences that were reinforcing things that I already knew or messages that I've already gotten, but it was sort of like hammering them in. And this one thing that she said to me that stuck with me, she goes, you know, you spend so much time meditating on your mortality but you need to spend more time meditating on your power. And I said, well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. That gets me because y'all know I talk a lot about mortality and about how we are not experiencing life on earth as an infinite experience, right? We're here, we have a life, we live the life. If you believe in past lives, you know, we might come back as a different person, a different being, a different body suit, if you will, but we don't remember the past lives unless, you know, we do some regression, whatever. We do certain things like remember the past lives. Like we don't consciously remember them. So we have this very limited experience. And even if you think about past lives, you're like, I've lived so many past lives or I'm gonna live another, you know, whatever, a hundred lives or whatever. This life, like this one where you are you, where I'm DeAndre Nicolette, like this is the only one. You feel me? This is the only one where I'm me and experiencing life through this lens, doing everything through this lens of me, through my eyes. So she was like, you spend so much time thinking about how life is short and how you could die. So you, you know, you're allowing yourself to take these leaps, to push yourself, to try things, to do what makes you happy. But she said, but you need to start thinking about how powerful you are. And she literally goes to me, she goes, you are a literal goddess. Like, do you know that? And it was almost like, you know, when a, when you're having a chat with a parent and they're trying to remind you like, baby, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Stop playing with yourself. She literally was, it was that type of energy she was coming with. She was like, you're a goddess. Like, do you, are you forgetting? Why do you keep forgetting this? Because when you continue to forget this, you're doing things, you're making moves, you're thinking and coming from a place of like not understanding and not believing in your power. To tie it back with the soulmate, because it was sort of like, I had that experience. I was talking to this guide and we're talking about my power and we're talking about this goddess energy and we're talking about remembering and meditating on my power. She also was giving me some tea <laughs> and some my man's because I was like, okay, girl. So we're talking about power, whatever, whatever. And she was like, you know, you're, you're asking these questions of when and how you're going to meet your person, but it's not a, a question of, and you know, the time, time is not a thing. 
So she's like, it's not a necessarily a question of when, like in terms of human timeline. She was like, it's more about the fact that you need to stay at this consistent vibration where you are really sitting in your power. Because she said, your person, like he is this person that when people meet him initially, he comes off as intimidating. He comes off as very much, he knows what he wants. He is walking in his power, well, at least when he gets to the point where he needs to be before we meet, he's walking in his power. He knows what he wants. He's very intimidating, but he's like a sweetheart underneath. But she was like, in order for you to recognize him as an equal, when you meet, you have to be in your power. You have to recognize how powerful you are. You have to be walking, talking, coming, being with that same energy of confidence, of knowing, of understanding who you are before you can even meet this man. Because one thing that will happen is if you're not meditating on your power, if you're not understanding who you are, you could walk past this man right down the street. You won't even recognize him. She was like, you wouldn't recognize him because you wouldn't be at that specific vibration to even see him. So when we were talking about, okay, the when and the how and the whatever, she's like, he's right around the corner because she's like, you're doing this. It's almost like I'm getting, I'm like coming up to, and my hands are, girl, is it the caffeine? It was two shots of espresso in that coffee and I didn't even finish, but what? Anyways, she was like, and for those y'all listening on the podcast, I was like showing a visual and my hand was like kind of shaking. I was like, not the coffee, not me who says I'm not affected by caffeine and my hands over here shaking. <laughs> messy but it's kind of like this thing where i'm coming up here and being at that vibration that i need to be and i'll have a moment where i dip where i dip down and that's human right that's that's that is something that can happen to anyone but she was like you have to get to this point where you are pretty much consistently at that place where you understand and sit in your power and that's when you're going to call in the person that's when you're going to call in all of these opportunities that are literally sitting here waiting for you they want to come into your field they want to be available to you but they are only available to the version of you who understands her power i'm sharing this because one i wanted to share this room's experience for anyone who's never tried it but two for y'all to understand that this is not just a message for me you feel me like this is a message for you as well like i feel like a lot of times we're trying to do so many things in our lives and we don't really sit with the understanding of how powerful we are we place a lot of our expectations we place a lot of the power of the outcome outside of ourselves. And now I always like to say that we are in a co-creationship. So it's us and God and the universe and whoever. But even within that, I also do believe that we are God or the universe experiencing itself through our being, through our actions, through our, you know, experience here on earth. That being said, it is so easy to forget that you are very powerful because we have all of these different things, all of these different media outlets, mediums, whatever, telling us that we aren't as powerful as we think we are, telling us that one person can't change the world, one person can't make a difference, but that is so incorrect. Like it's such a lie. And I think the minute that we start to remember and come back to the truth of our power, that's when we can see things in our lives really begin to change. Because when you realize and you recognize and you remember that you are so powerful and you act from that place of understanding your power, oh baby, you moving different. Oh, you moving real, real different. Like, like, you know, those moments where you feel super confident and you walk into a place and you walk with your head held high, you walk in knowing exactly who you are, exactly why you're there. You understand your purpose. You, you're just so open. Like, have you ever noticed how magnetic that energy is? Like people's heads will turn. People will turn and look at you and be like, who is that? I ain't never seen her here before, but baby, I gotta know her. You will start to attract opportunities that maybe you never even knew were out there, but when I tell you, they come to you because you are magnetic. And understanding that you have the power to recognize your power and stay in that place energetically. It's about remembering that your life is in your hands. Take your power back and literally as my guide said, meditate on that. Understand that you are a powerful being and that if you have a specific vision for your life or thing that you wanna do, like you have that because you also have the power within you to get that, to attract that, to achieve that. We don't have these visions for random reasons. Like, And the thing is, I used to be like, well, who am I to think that I could live this life? Baby, I'm me. 
that's it. That's it. Like, who are you to think that you can live the life that you want to live, that you can have the things you want to have? You're you, and you have that vision for a reason. You have that vision because it's meant for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that I have these specific goals and vision for my life, and it differs from my friends, it differs from you, it differs from your friends, your vision will differ from mine. Like, we all have such specific and unique things that we want. Even when people want kind of like the same thing, like you could argue, okay, I want to meet the love of my life. I want to meet my person. And maybe I have friends too that want to meet their person, but our people are different. You feel me? Like even that, like we want the same thing, but it's not the same exact thing that we want. Like our vision of what our dream partner looks like, treats us like, is like, is different, even within the same descriptors of ambition or kind or gentle or loving. Like even within that, we all have our different perspectives of what that looks like for us. So your vision is so unique and you are given that vision for a reason, but you're also given that vision not by itself. It's not like you're given the vision without the actual tools. You're not given the vision and it's like, okay, go ahead and figure it out without the tools. Like you, I don't know how you're gonna get there, but figure it out. You're given the vision and you're given the power and you're given the tools, but it is up to you to harness that power. It is up to you to figure out how to use the tools. It it is up to you to really tap in and understand and know that you are so powerful. You have all this potential. You literally have all this potential, but the only person who can actually apply pressure, who can actually take that potential and turn it into action, take that potential and turn it into reality, oh baby, that's on you. That's on you, but you are powerful enough to do it and never forget that. You might think, oh, this life is so far from no no what is time time ain't nothing time ain't nothing like you could get there in a year you could also get there in five years you get there in 10 years but the thing I like to say is like will it really matter when you get there you feel me like when you get there and you're experiencing everything that you have ever wanted to experience you're not gonna be sitting there like damn man I, I wish I was experiencing this yesterday damn like I wish I had more time with this thing like you just gonna be sitting there enjoying your life, okay? Like when I meet my person, when I'm living all of these visions that I have, I'm not gonna be sitting here thinking back on the times I didn't have this thing. I might only from a place of like gratitude because a lot of times I'll sit in my apartment, I'll sit in this space and I will think back to when I didn't have this apartment. I will think back to when the podcast wasn't where it is. I will think back to when I didn't have this specific life that I have now and not from a place of like, damn, I wish it happened sooner, but from a place of it happened at the perfect time. It happened when it needed to happen. And not only that, but I'm so grateful that it happened when it did. I'm so grateful that I had to go through, you know, moving out into Jersey, living with a partner who I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with, breaking up with said partner, feeling like shit, everything is crumbling around me. What am I going to do? Being laid off at the start of the pandemic to moving here and being able to build from the ground up. If I didn't have those past experiences, I don't think I would appreciate this as much as I do now. I don't think I would feel this immense gratitude as much as I do every single day. Like literally y'all, when I wake up in my bed, like it's such a dream sometimes. Like I literally wake up in my bed and the minute I open my eyes, there are mornings where I'm just like, I don't even recognize where I am. I'm like, <laughs> like it literally takes me a minute for it to soak in where I am or sometimes I'll just be sitting here and making dinner or making lunch or something and I'm like I can't believe I'm a whole adult <laughs> living in a whole state like furnished an apartment like what there's such simple things but that's the thing though like it's so much beauty in being grateful for the little things quote unquote like it's so much beauty and being grateful for what you have now, because if you're grateful for what you have now, but you also understand that this is not your end place, you know that sets you up so beautifully for every single other thing that you plan to manifest. I sit in this and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm like, I know one day I'm gonna buy a house. 
I'm gonna buy a house and I'm gonna own property. But in the meantime, oh, I'm gonna live this life up in this apartment. I'm heading out to the pool after this. What you mean? It has so much stuff available to us. It's literally an infinite amount of stuff available. And it's like, you have this vision to give you some sort of purpose, to give you some sort of like, okay, here's where I wanna end up. And you have the tools, like trust me, you have every single thing that you need to make it happen. It might not happen the way that you expect. It might not happen the in the how that you expect. It might not happen in the specific timeline. That's one thing about life. You make plans, God laughs, or you plan, God laughs, yeah. Because you'll be thinking like, oh, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But then you do this, and then that happened. And then all of a sudden, you're over here. <laughs> and like things just switching up. But then you end up exactly where you need to be when you need to be. Just sit with that, y'all. Meditate on your power. Like literally sit with that. I'm going to wrap this episode up shortly. But one thing I do want to say in terms of the whole meditating on your power, this kind of ties into it. So I got the message the other day to really do something special with affirmations. I know you guys love the affirmation episodes. I will have another one soon. But I also want to say I'm actually doing an affirmation challenge so it's literally just like a free random challenge i thought of it when i was like in the shower y'all all get my ideas in the shower so what it is is kicking off on sunday july 24th and basically you sign up by email i'm gonna put the sign up link down in the show notes and once you click on that link it'll bring you to a page name and email address even if you're already on my email list please still sign up because it'll put you into a specific segment of my email list so you get these emails so starting on the 24th every single day for seven days you're gonna get an email with new affirmations and a tip, an affirmation tip for how to incorporate affirmations into your everyday life. Take a shot every time I say affirmations. So <laughs> you're gonna get that. And then there'll also be like one or two MP3 episodes to go along with that on this podcast, but not all of the episodes or not all the affirmations rather are gonna be in podcast episodes. So if you wanna get all the affirmations, we're covering love, money, uh, self-care, self-worth, just like a bunch of different things. Like there's basically themes for each of the day. So sign up for that. Uh, the last day to sign up will be Saturday. So let's see, Saturday the 23rd. Also in the community, I'm going to be posting some stuff in there to coincide with the affirmation challenge. I told y'all we bring it back the community in August, but we're going to bring it back a week earlier just so we can like talk about these affirmations and talk about the affirmation challenge in that group. So I will also link that down below so you guys can check it out. Yeah, that's it, my loves. But that was like my shroom strip. It was basically just me there, eyes closed, chatting with my guys like chatting with them. I saw some of my past lives as well. Yeah, it was a really great experience. I definitely hope to do it again. I probably will do it again and kind of see what other messages I get. I feel like shrooms a medium tarot tarot cards any of these other things they're basically just tools for you to connect with your guides connect with these energies when you really get to a point in your journey where you can connect with them without needing these tools i think that's a beautiful place to be i feel like i'm there like i get these messages and i pick up on, on them so intuitively however i wanted to try the shrooms at least once just to kind of see what came through and like i said so much confirmation for everything that medium said for everything that I've sort of been getting messages for intuitively that I knew but I was kind of like oh is this is this like really a message or you know when you start to like doubt it and question is it really a message from you guys or is it just you like no it's it's a message from you guys so anyways my loves I want to thank you so so much for being here thank you for chatting with me today I hope you enjoyed this episode again super random but I feel like I just had to share that experience with y'all and I had to lock it in so that I could also have this to go back to and listen to and just like reflect on when I feel called to. I appreciate you for being here. Please make sure to leave the podcast a five-star review, whether you're listening on Apple or Spotify or any of the other podcast listening or streaming apps. And then if you're on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy podcast episodes or other pieces of content. I post literally other things on YouTube as well, like the dining room makeover. I have a fragrance video I'm gonna upload soon that, well, I have to film it first, but... <laughs> Y'all get the, y'all get it, y'all get it. So yeah, check that out and I will chat with you in the very next video. Bye my loves. Bye.